Papaya cultivation is a very profitable and relatively safe agriculture business. Papaya can be cultivated for vegetables, fruit, latex, and dry leaves. Discover how to start papaya farming and make a profit. Hi friends, welcome to the Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. Papaya, also known as pawpaw, is a delicious fruit rich in vitamin C. It is a tropical fruit and is a highly valuable medicinal ingredient. Originally from Costa Rica and South Mexico, it is now widely cultivated worldwide. Globally, India leads the world in papaya production followed by Brazil, Mexico, Nigeria, Indonesia, Peru, China, Thailand, and the Philippines. General Informations Papaya belongs to the family Caracaceae. Botanically called Carica papaya, it occurs in three sexes, males, females, and hermaphrodites. Papaya plant grows straight up to 16 to 33 feet tall. The branch is only when there is damage at the apex of the stem, otherwise, they are unbranched. The leaves are shaped like a fan and have a long stalk. The flowers are dimorphic and have five petals. The stamens of the male flowers are fused along with the petals whereas the female flowers have contorted petals with a superior ovary. The petals are attached loosely at the base of the flowers. They usually open at night and are pollinated by moths. The fruit varies in shape from oblong to spherical and it is orange-colored when ripe. Papaya Varieties Different varieties have been developed for papaya cultivation. These varieties can be divided into two broad categories. Decius, producing separate male and female plants. Genodiaceous, producing female and hermaphrodite plants. Some of the important commercial varieties commonly cultivated by farmers are, Pusa Delicious, Pusa Dwarf, Pusa Giant, Pusa Majesty, Pusa Nana, Sunrise Solo, Arca Surya, Arca Prabhath, CO1, CO2, CO3, CO4, CO5, CO6, CO7, CO8. Taiwan Red Lady Papaya This is a new variety of papaya and very popular among farmers in recent years. Red Lady Papaya is very large in size and is cultivated for fruit purposes. Ideal Conditions for Papaya Cultivation Being a tropical plant, tropical weather is most suited for papaya plantations. It can grow in almost all types of soils. Climate for Papaya Cultivation Papaya crops need a high level of humidity and temperature. It is sensitive to frost and heavy rains. It can also grow in subtropical areas. Areas near the foothills have been found to be the perfect place for papaya cultivation. It can grow well at sea level and up to 600 meters of altitude from sea level. Above 600 meters, the fruits decrease in quality. Although the crop favors high levels of humidity for growth, it needs a warm and dry climate for ripening. The roots are shallow, the papaya plants cannot withstand strong winds. Papaya can also be cultivated on a greenhouse farm. Soil for papaya plantation. Papaya can grow in a variety of soils. However, rich, sandy loam is ideal for papaya plantations. It can also grow well in alluvial soil which is found along the deltas and river banks. However, it cannot grow in shallow soils or soils that do not let water drain off easily. A fertile, lime-free, and well-drained soil is preferred for papaya cultivation. pH requirement in papaya farming. A neutral to near neutral soil can be used for papaya cultivation. The pH can be between 5.5 to 7.5. The season for papaya plantation. Papaya is planted during the monsoon, autumn, and spring season. It is not planted during winter. The first few things to be considered while planting papaya are rain, frost, and hot air, since all three cause injury to the plant. Planting material for papaya farming. Papayas are commercially propagated through seeds. Although tissue culture technique for growing papaya has been developed, they are restricted to laboratories. Papaya seeds cannot be stored for long unlike other seeds since they lose their viability quickly. They are first planted in nurseries and poly bags. The newly germinated young seedlings are then transplanted after 6 to 8 weeks. Land preparation for papaya plantation. Before transplantation, pits of dimensions 50 cm by 50 cm by 50 cm are dug, and filled with farm yard manure, organic waste, and soil. Two to three seedlings are transplanted per pit. When the plants start flowering only one plant per pit should be kept. In order to avoid weeds, hoeing is done regularly for the first year. Once the plants start flowering, only 10% of male plants are kept scattered in the orchard while the rest are removed. Intercropping in papaya cultivation. Papaya is intercropped with crops like coconut, peanut, pineapple, jackfruit, coffee, etc. 
they are also planted as fillers for lychee, guava, and mango. This is mainly because they stay on the field for 2 to 3 years. In case papaya is cultivated in the entire orchard, then vegetables like garlic, turnip, onion, cauliflower etc. are grown for the first year. However, no crops are cultivated after the first year since competition for nutrition is likely at later stages. Frost protection and papaya farming. Generally, planting is done before the onset of winter. In addition, the plants are covered with polythene bags of the plant size. The bags must have air holes punched in them on the upper side. This is for the first winter. The next year, gunny bags can be used to wrap the plant around the fruit, and at the apex. Irrigation and papaya farm. Water requirement for papaya depends on the environmental factors of the area like light, temperature, rainfall, wind, soil type, etc. It also differs with the age of the plant. A young papaya plant would need more moisture than the older trees. This is because older trees have slower vegetative growth. Hence the seedlings are irrigated once or twice a week, while fruit-bearing trees need irrigation once every 15 days. Older trees need ample water. However, they cannot tolerate stagnated water or waterlogging since their roots are shallow and not deep. It results in wet feet and lower fruit yield. That's why drip irrigation and papaya plantations is a good practice. During winter, papaya must be irrigated at an interval of 10 to 12 days while in summer they are watered once a week till the rains begin. Diseases in papaya plantation. The main diseases that affect papaya crops are anthracnose, powdery mildew, stem rot, and damping off. Water logging around the roots is the chief reason for rots to occur. Wettable sulfur, carbendazim, and mancozeb are effective in controlling these diseases. Aphids, red spider mites, stem borer, fruit flies, gray weevils, and grasshoppers are the insects attacking papaya plants. Destroying the infected part and spraying prophylactic spray like 0.3% dimethoate would help control them. Harvesting papaya. When the fruits are fully grown and start developing a tinge of yellow color at the apex, it is time to harvest them. Another indication of harvesting time is the latex. Once the latex starts turning watery instead of milky, the fruits must be harvested. Not all papaya varieties turn yellow on ripening. Some turn yellow while others remain green even when fully ripe. The economic life of papaya lasts for a maximum of four years. However, farmers do not extend their life beyond two to three years as from the third yes production decreases. Good farm management and timely care can increase papaya production to a great degree. Post-harvesting practices. At the time of harvest, papayas must not suffer any injuries or blemishes. These can cause a risk of fungal contamination. In that case, the fruits would start decaying quickly thus reducing their market value. Since they are perishable fruits, each individual papaya must be wrapped separately in paper and then placed in wooden crates. The crates must be filled with straw, sawdust, and other such soft material to protect the papayas from transportation injuries. Conclusion Papaya cultivation does not require too much hard work. It is a versatile crop and can be cultivated for vegetables, fruits, and latex, even the dry leaves have market value as raw material for medicine. Hope you like this video. Share this video as much as possible with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.